Why do birds migrate? Why do dogs sit for treats? Welcome to the fascinating world of animal behavior, where we explore two key types, innate or instinctive behavior and learned behavior. Let's start with innate behavior. Actions animals are born knowing how to do. These are genetically hardwired, not taught or practiced. For example, sea turtles hatch and head straight for the ocean. Spiders spin webs without being taught. Cuckoos lay eggs in other birds' nests, an instinctual survival tactic. These behaviors are often triggered by stimuli like light, sound, or temperature, and they're usually the same in every individual of a species. Now, what about learned behavior? This type develops through experience, observation, or training. It allows animals to adapt and respond to changing environments. Examples include a dog learning to fetch or respond to a bell, birds adjusting migration patterns due to climate shifts, chimpanzees using tools after watching others. Learned behaviors can be broken down further. Habituation, getting used to a repeated stimulus like city birds ignoring traffic. Classical conditioning, linking to stimuli like Pavlov's dog salivating to a bell. Operant conditioning, learning through reward or punishment. Imprinting, like baby ducks following the first thing they see after hatching. So, how do scientists study these behaviors? This is where ethology comes in, the scientific study of animal behavior, often in natural environments. Researchers use controlled experiments, field observations, and comparative psychology to analyze how behaviors form, evolve, and serve survival. Why does this matter? Understanding animal behavior helps in wildlife conservation, animal training, veterinary science, and even robotic AI design. So, what's the coolest animal behavior you've seen? Was it instinct or learned? Drop it in the comments and subscribe for more behavioral biology explained.